Alright, I guess. Welcome to Cleveland on the Rocks. We're at Eliza's Bourbon Bar. Because I'm at. And that's Jay. And we're about to get into Sam and Henry blah, 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 blah. Henry McKenna. Man, five videos down and like, whoo, falling apart here. Henry McKenna. Henry McKenna. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Sour Mash. 40% 80 proof. So it's going to be like, you know. Right normal. Up my alley. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So. This one is a sour mash, which means they take a piece of the mash from the batch before, throw it into the new batch, and let it sour up there, and then they can call it a sour mash, which is fantastic. I feel like this is going to be super, super good. Maybe. We don't have a pop. Let's so how are we going to do it? Ready? Oh. Double pop. Really? <laughs> really good. Right? We're going to talk about these new glasses yet? We are. We're gonna we're gonna thank uh, Matt Koza for these new glasses. Matt, you are the man. Now we can properly give you a scent on these, as well as a taste to see if you should go purchase this bottle. So we'll get into the nose on here. Hmm, this smells overly smoky. That's I was just you know I was just gonna say they smell smoky, but I didn't know if it was because of the last one we we just smoked, <laughs> we it smoked and the drink. in my nose, <laughs> but. No, yes, that's definitely it smells there. really smoky. Absolutely. Once you cut through the ethanol, you get a smoke. Man. And normally I can't smell that. I don't know if... You sure? Well, it can't be just in my nose. But it's, if a, you're smelling it's a too. sweet smoke, though. It is, yeah. It's not a, a crazy, yeah, it's a sweet I just burnt a tree smoke. It's like a, like a light brown sugar smoke. Like, this is going to be a pretty sweet one, I have a feeling. You ready? I'm ready. Cheers. Cheers. All right. This thing got legs for days. It just drops down the cup. That's actually I'm pretty good. Too much of it, I think. Maybe. Uh... Basically, this is your. Uh, if you're going to the store and you got twenty bucks, twenty-two dollars, I think, to throw on a bottle. This one's always at the store for twenty-two bucks. Um, I, it's not bad. It's not very complex. There's very it uh, sweet flavor. It does. It's like a molasses taste. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty good. I I taste the smoke though. I do. I do. Too. You and know, normally, yeah. you guys taste the smoke and I cannot. You're getting it now. We just smoked a bunch of drinks so I think Jay's finally pulling smoke out of them. Boom, yes. Yeah. You know what's going to pull smoke out of this even more? I'm going to put an ice cube in this. Just one. We're going to go with one here. And I feel like it's going to be fantastic. Because this should bring some smoke out of this and make it taste like a little bit more complex than it does. Very simplistic. Very easy. Uh, this would be good with a Coke. Oh. Mm-hmm. Change the scent for you a little bit. It's gonna be much better. Yeah, I cut the ethanol out. Oh, and it evened it out a little bit. It did a lot. Yeah. yeah. We don't want that ice them out too much, because if it does, yeah, it waters you're it gonna down. get it crazy watery. Mm -hmm. Alright. Super well, easy to go back. That's um, a very, very good No bottle. burn. No, oh, I like that. Yeah, I still get a sweet taste from that. You do, but it's still it got that smoke that kind of covers it up. It's like a molasses honey type taste with a smoke Again, lingering how much, how much in it. Is this it's bottle? About twenty two bucks. Uh, this is super like, cheap, super easy to get. Yeah. You can find this at the store, like, and we're in Cleveland, so it's like you can find this. Uh, this would be a great budget one that you can. I mean, you could drink this by itself if you wanted. I would. Uh, I would actually drink it without the ice because I like the stronger taste to it. And once and like you cut you it said, down with a... Mix it with some Coke or something like that and you got a few could. mixed drinks just yeah. chilling next to the fire or something like that. Definitely. You know what would add to this? If you put some lemonade in it and then you put your... You put it like lemonade and like the honey mix with this would be a lot less than that 100 proof one and it would taste it even... You, hopefully that smoke would come out in it because the old tub obviously the smoke went away when we put the lemon in it like a lemon and honey would accent this super well i feel like this is a great bottle to go buy for 20 bucks this would be Absolutely. something super easy for you to buy that would be at the store readily available 20 dollars. here you go but if i went to the store and i seen this i would pick up another one just to have the mix and uh you know drink it here drink it by itself drink it with some coke whatever you want to do with it what about you Absolutely. Buy this one at the store? Yeah, Hell yeah. That's a, that's, that's a good bottle. Good flavor and everything. Heck yeah. 
But you see, I'm still picking up the cup. Yeah, right. We can pour some more if you want. It is a good one. It is good. Yeah, definitely. Real easy to drink. Heck yeah. So basically, if you're looking for a budget bourbon at the store, Henry McKenna Sour Mash, super good. You'll like it. Uh, but like I tell you in all our videos, if you're drinking while you're watching us, which I hope you are, call an Uber, don't drive, don't drink and drive. Man, I missed that. Missed the cue there. Yeah. Don't drink and drive, call an Uber, call TJ, call your mom, call who you got to call, get home safe, do that don't, thing. Don't drink alone, call us. Yeah, we like to drink. Let us know what you're drinking in the comments. We'll come drink with you. Heck yeah. And like us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all them fun platforms you have on your phone there. I know you're already on your phone watching this, so like them, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And we will see you next time.